Communication is part of our everyday lives, but just imagine how it would feel to lose the ability to hear or speak. No one probably understands that more than 24-year-old Ana Chavez, who was not only born profoundly deaf, but her entire family also suffers from the same disability. I grew up with a lot of challenges with, with in the in the you know with hearing world, you know, like my friends in public school, I was mainstream and that was pretty difficult. Now that she's older, Anna says those challenges have only gotten worse. They don't want to hire the person that's deaf. And you know, when I worked in, in Austin, you know, they know deaf culture over there because that's where the Texas School for the Deaf is. But here in the Valley, it's very frustrating looking for work. Deaf are discriminated against, and it's very difficult finding a job. But for Anna, what worries her the most is... Valley really needs a, a, a lot of support. They're very behind in a lot of uh, services. One of the most obvious problems here, Anna points out, is the lack of interpreters. The police departments, EMS and all that, I wish they knew sign language. And most of the time, if we have that type of emergency, there's no interpreter there. I feel lost because I need an interpreter for effective communication. And, you know, to, I, I can't communicate by writing back and forth. From Brazil to Laredo, there are only about 44 interpreters to serve the nearly 10,000 people who are either deaf or hard of hearing. We do not have enough certified interpreters here in the Valley. And a lot of the students mainstreamed. We're having, we're still having a lot of issues. You know, they're not receiving effective communication. They're behind in education. And then it's a domino effect. Diana Pepper Mendez is a well-known interpreter among the deaf community in the Valley. She says she understands the struggles deaf children face in the classroom every day and hopes that will change. Luckily, one Valley school is listening. We have approximately 17, 70 to 20 students. South Texas College is the first in the Valley to offer an interpreter course. This December, they'll graduate their first group of students like Joanna Vasquez. I found a job where I can do the best of everything. Vasquez says the possibilities are endless. I can go help a doctor one day and then the next day do uh, to help a judge in, a court, in court proceedings. As for Anna, she hopes there will soon be more people like Joanne eager to help give them a voice.